on a roll Tell yourself I'm gonna change Overcome this obstacle All you little rap kids talking that rap shit Rapping like the baddest ain't near my status Here one more white kid it has been a few days since I have recorded a new reaction, so I do want to get into something a little different, blah, 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 blah. But let's jump into this. I have to do this one because it's super funny to me that people were digging his first release that was clearly ghost written, and that is Jake Paul. He wrote that track. He wrote that track fresh out of London so when I seen that he dropped a new one it's called 23 when I seen that he dropped this my very first curious thought was if he actually wrote this and I wanted to check the credits <laughs> so I went to YouTube and of course there are no writer credits there or anything like that however I went to Spotify and I'm looking at his credits and this is pretty funny um, it says performed by Jake Paul but neither the written by nor the produced by credits are there, which is hilarious because my distributor won't even let me distribute anything at all if I don't give those credits. And then at the bottom, it says source, like who put it out and stuff. And it says, stop trying to see who put this out. Yo, like already, man, <laughs> I already am not liking Jake Paul's attitude. He is so arrogant. He feels like such a condescending artist, and I really want to like him too because you know he box, he does boxing, he's a talented athlete, he's trying to be a talented musician. The problem though is that he's coming out like he's writing all this when it's very evident that he is not writing any of this. And if he is saying, "Oh yeah, I wrote this," well, during the interview with his brother Logan, I had happened to watch it because they were talking about the situation with him and KSI. So during that, Logan was like, "Oh, is Fresh Out of London? Is this your big like your big track, or do you have more in the vault?" And uh, Jake Paul had said that he had two more bangers. I believe he said two more. So that was the other reason I wanted to hear this song 23 because I know that this is one of the tracks he was referring to during that interview. Again, I know he didn't write this. I don't want to make it seem like I'm going to give him a lot of credit. I don't typically like when rappers have ghost writers. However, I do like and I do have a few songs like in my playlist that I listen to by famous rappers that they that were not written by them. They were not the songs were not written by them, but they're huge songs that are very good songs. So maybe this is going to be one of them. We are going to check it out. Jake Paul 23. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Tell that bitch up. Where do you want to go? Little shit. What? Straight to the bank, Pierre. No cat. <laughs> is that Logan <laughs> dressed up as the driver? Yo, that's pretty funny. I I I do want to say something though. In Fresh Out of London, um, I I don't really think this is maybe maybe this is Jake's doing or maybe it's not. Maybe it's the person who like designed the video. Um, I don't know how much of the video. Jake actually like comes up with and storyboards himself but in the last video for fresh out of London in the first 10 seconds and it's the same thing with this there's like a spoof or like a skit right with the girls laying on the bed and whoever this girl is who is like the ubers out here take forever like when she said that yo in the last video you got something really corny as the first 10 seconds and in this one you kind of get like some corny dialogue that's it now it is funny though but that whole no cap right when he gets in the car i really don't like that like hold on let's hear that one more time let's go back come on come on come on hurry up hurry up tell that bitch up where do you want to go you little shit what straight to the bank here no cap Straight to the Not bank, Pierre. No cap. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this song better be fire, y'all. I see in the comments. Oh hell no. It was a big ass bag of money on the <laughs> Had to do me that can can do the regular bands. I like the sister. Jake Paul woke up today. People are outraged. Nate Robinson gets side chick pregnant. KSI songs keep getting worse. 
Tyler Oakley gets fired from Ellen. No, I'm a dog. It's not fucking her and her friend. I like him two at a time. And she want to slide. She pull out of instant shit. She going. She fuck up the vibe. How am I 23? Sitting on 23. I feel like Jordan. I'm back in my prime. Had to do man. Oh, okay. What? All right, Jake. I hear you. Let's go back a little bit. Hey, you know what? I'll give you the credit to just as the as the performing part of this. Like, you sound good performing this. I, I want to know who wrote it. Like, if. Like, if he really cared about this shit, he wouldn't be so, like, weird about, oh, yeah, this person this person actually wrote it. I just, he would just come out and be like, I just love rapping. But to me, when it, someone's just, like, doing the performance aspect of it, it's really hard for me to see their passion for the project. Had to do me like I can't do the regular bands. I like the seats that recline. No, I'm a dog. It's not fucking her and her friend. I like them two at a time. And she want to slide. She pull out of instant shit. She go and she fuck up the vibe. How am I 23? Sitting on 23. I feel like Jordan. I'm back in my prime. Oh yeah, Fresh Out of London was a lot better than this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jake. This song's cool, man, but it's not like, yo, it's not like I look at, it's not like I'm listening to this and being like, oh yeah, this one's a slapper. I'm not going to be playing this after I listen to this reaction. Man, I can't do the regular bands. I like the seats that recline. No, I'm a dog. It's not fucking her and her friend. I like them two at a time. Uh, she want to slide. She pull out of instant shit. Oh my god, for real? It's the hook and the song's already halfway over. Oh hell no, dude. That, sh that shirt's gotta go, bro. That cigarette shirt is so hideous. It is such in poor taste. <laughs> Dream it a whip now, don't even drive. I got a chauffeur, she told me I'm driving her crazy. She hate what I'm doing online. Ten in a week, and I'm just not surprised. I had to take that one home to the guys. I got the feds watching, haters watching, news Yo, watching. That's Jake, a whole lot of eyes. Even Jake sounds bored with this one. Like, this one's cool, but he's whoever did the lyrics for this did a good job, but like, he's not performing this as good as he could have. I went and flooded my wrist for the fuck of this shit while these rappers just run out of time. I'm here forever, this life's televised. Ain't no way they can take them from any of mine. That boy a vet and he's still on the rise. Rose of the Bentley shit, I can decide. I got the paparazzi at the front of my door. I can't leave shit, I need a disguise. Had to do me, I can't do the regular bands. I like the seats that recline. No, I'm a dog, it's some fucking her. Hey, that shit was hard right there, I won't lie. But that was mostly the production um, and whoever wrote it. His, his, his lyrics, whoever did the lyrics for this, again, they're dope. It's just his performance is hella slacking over the beat. He's not, he's not selling what he's talking about to me, unfortunately. Had to do me like I can't do the regular bands. I like the seats that recline. No, I'm a dog. It's not fucking her and her friend. I like them two at a time. And she want to slide. She pull out of instant. She, she going, she fucking yeah. the Oh, okay, we're done. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm about to do a reaction to a Tech 9 song right now because... I was hoping this one was going to be hella hard, but it's not. It's not hella hard. There's not like straight up hella hard bars in this. In fact, the bars in this, one could say, are just bars that you hear all the time from new rappers. Like, this is part of the problem with like rap nowadays where everybody, at least the majority of listeners, just really care about catchy, silly, little cliche, corny lines. Um, in reality, if... Jake Paul wasn't Jake Paul like if he didn't actually have some of this money like assuming I'm assuming some of that money in this video is fake it's probably prop money but we all know he's balling I'm not saying he's not he doesn't have hella money but yeah the, like if if he wasn't Jake Paul if he wasn't at the level that him and his brother are at because of YouTube and stuff if another artist had released this song it would it would go nowhere just because the it's the topic is hella bland. It's such a bland song, but also his performances. It's really bad. Um, I, I actually expected more from this one because Fresh Out of London, his performance on Fresh Out of London, it feels like he took a while working on that song. And if he didn't, he definitely had a lot of fun rapping that song. This one, it, this is just a, a shit talk game. That, that's all this is. Like, this is just him bragging. And a lot of it, you can tell a lot of this with his new music, is he's just trying to have a pissing contest with KSI. Um, KSI is super dope. I like his music. Um, it at least seems like he loves making music or at least likes making it. Um, Jake Paul, this just feels like a flex. Yeah, I don't know. But I've talked enough. We're out of this bitch.